You're gonna help daddy? You gonna help daddy right there? Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see there. Push. Yeah, push. Muito bem, Samuel. Samuel, você ajudou o papai? You did that? Oh my hey, God. Samuel, parabéns. Good job. <laughs> okay, now that's it. That one's done. Finished all of the sheetrock here in the house. I'll give you, a, or in the room, I'll give you a little look. You can see we've uh, put sheetrock on all of the walls here, the ceiling, and everywhere. Uh, there was also a spot in here, which you probably saw me putting up earlier. The ceiling did not have uh, sheetrock. It was that same paneling, and so we put sheetrock there. I also moved the uh, the light, and they had the light over here in the in the corner, and had a fluorescent light, which that to me just seemed like a stupid place to put the light. So I moved it over to the center as far as I could. As you can see, it's still not in the center. That's as close as I could get it with the length of uh, Romex cable that that I had in the attic. Um, I, I had couldn't pull, they didn't have any more slack than that. So that's as close as I could get it. But that's probably close enough. I have not put sheetrock on the inside of the, uh, of the windows. And that's because I'm gonna be using wood trim. I think it looks a little bit nicer. It's a little bit more work, but. As you can see, we put one sheet, one full sheet on the bottom, one full sheet on the top and leave the little pieces in the center. And that's so that when I'm taping, I don't have to bend over or climb on a ladder uh, to do. My wife asked me why we did that, why I put the top one on, then the bottom, and left that in the center. And I told her it was out of pure laziness for not wanting to bend over later to uh, um, to do all the taping. But there we are. I also, you can see I, I filled up any gap there along the bottom. Uh, it helps some with insulation, of course. Cuts down on little drafts and things. But mostly I did it to try to keep down, to try to cut down on uh, bugs getting in. I was hoping maybe that might help since they had quite a, quite a gap down there. I just filled it up with the, the spray and foam. Um, you have to be careful when putting that foam in. I found out one time uh, that apparently when it is uh, wet it uh, dissolves the plastic around Romex cable. So you and there's a uh, they actually make a product just like this which is specific for electrical. And I think that's the reason why, is that this regular type will eat away at it, whereas the electrical probably does not, but I haven't used it to test it. Um, but I put in a hot water heater once, and um, around, the, hot, around the, the cable for the hot water heater, I insulated with this, not realizing that it could uh, eat it away. And a few months later, I had a dead short uh, going to the hot water heater. And I finally traced it down to the spot where, it go, where the cable went through the floor, and I found that the uh, 
uh, the insulation around the cable was completely disintegrated. And I found a few other spots that were right around where this was where it had uh, disintegrated other cables, not to the point where it was causing a short, but I could see they, it was disintegrating that plastic. So you have to be careful with that if you go to use it. As you can see, we've uh, finished all of the sheetrock and I've covered up all of the holes from the uh, screws and covered the seams with tape and with mud uh, and left it nice and smooth. So you can't see where the, uh, where the seams were between, between sheets of drywall and the same for the ceiling. So you guys can look at that and also uh, all of the corners made them nice and smooth so it looks uniform. And uh, I've sanded it down, cleaned it, and it's ready for paint. So we're preparing, covering our floor, getting ready to, to paint. And who is that guy? <laughs> the best he walked in here a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother-in-law, Paulo. He's visiting here from Brazil. The best brother-in-law. <laughs> the best one from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to help. That's for covering the primer on the floor? To keep it from, just to keep the floor clean. Hey! <laughs> Hi! Swell and Bonus channel, subscribe here! <laughs> yes! <laughs>
And then I'm gonna do a test spray right here. You're gonna test on the cardboard? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. oh! It's gonna be satisfying to do in this wall because it's red. Subscribe! Let me say it. And this is Matt, constructor and nurse. Same with the ceiling. On this wall here, we decided to go with a wallpaper that my wife likes. And so we got that all installed. And now we're ready for flooring. So we decided to go with a uh, vinyl floor. This is a waterproof floor. We don't need waterproof in the bedrooms, but we wanted to have the same floor throughout the entire house. So we made sure we got a floor that was approved for kitchens and bathrooms. And this one is supposed to be 100% waterproof. It's, uh, completely vinyl with a, uh, with a pork bottle. We did quite a bit of shopping until we could find a good price. There's a big uh, spread in price on this sort of thing. There's some real stuff that's real cheap and then some more expensive stuff. And like anything else, you get what you pay for. This is the, the color that we chose right here. And it's a it's an oak pattern. It looks really quite realistic in my opinion. And then on the back, this rubber foam with some and that's supposed to give a nice pad underneath so that it keeps your floor nice and quiet when you walk on it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that first uh, on that first row. So I've made some marks here on the on the on the floor because you really don't want to follow the wall, the wall can move in and out. You want to follow a nice straight line that you put. And you put in on the top of the what was on the house, that's why you didn't care much the paint fell on the floor. Correct. What what marks you made? A little black mark right there. Uh, there. Okay. A little mark here. There's a little mark here. Right here. Uh, then we'll do once we do flooring, then we'll do we'll lay the baseboard on top, all the way along here. Then we'll be uh, Going to trim around windows and doors, light fixtures, the electrical, all of that, and then the room's done. Okay. 